So in this uh, third part of the CSML profile, of the extended CSML profile tutorial, I will demonstrate how uh, we can add custom constraints to a profile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another attribute to our requirement plot stereotype called uh, justification, which uh, represents the justification uh, with which a requirement is verified, right? So we only need a justification if a requirement's verified flag is set to true. So the name of the attribute is justification, its type is uh, string from the UML primitive types. So UML primitive types, string, fine, and it's an optional um, attribute. So its multiplicity is 0 to 1. Okay. Right. So as I said, the justification is optional only if uh, verified is set to false for that particular uh, requirement. And in order to express this constraint and to make uh, Papyrus evalu evaluate this, this constraint and uh, uh, produce error messages if the constraint is not satisfied, I need to add a new constraint element to my profile diagram. And I need to specify requirement plus, the requirement plus stereotype as its context. So I will name this constraints the constraint justification size. And then I will specify its uh, its content using the uh, OCL using the essential OCL editor. So, right. So what this constraint says is that if self dot verified is true, then this implies that self self dot justification is not undefined, and self is uh, like this in in Java. So it refers to the current element. And that the size of the justification of the value of the justification attribute is more than 10. So it has more than 10 characters. Okay, so I'm ready as far as my profile is, uh, is concerned. So now let's go and test this constraint in, uh, in a model. So here I have a fresh model. The first thing I need to do is I need to go to its profile tab and add my uh, my profile. I have already demonstrated this in, uh, in the first part of this tutorial, right? So then I can create a requirement. I can get rid of the built-in requirement stereotype and then add my requirement plus stereotype. Fine, and then uh, go to the properties, give the give it an ID and some text. Okay, and now I can go and validate my model. So I can right click on the root element of the model in this model explorer view and then go validation, validate model, and everything is fine because no constraints are violated. Now, um, if I go back to my uh, requirement plus and I go to the profile tab and then flip the value of verified to true, now my constraint, the OCL constraint that I specified here, should be violated because my justification is still empty for this requirement. So I can right click again, go validate, validate model, and I can see my constraint failing uh, down here, and I can also see a nice little marker on the respective requirement. Now, if I go back to the properties of my requirement, and I type a sufficiently long justification, and I validate my model again, then the the error market the error marker disappears.